All right, any questions on the homework? Eight questions. Who took the longest to finish? Who was it? How long did it take you? It took me like 10 minutes. Uh, probably more than 10 minutes, but. Uh, Hello. 20, 15, right? Probably some 30. That's very good. All right. Um, cool. So we're going to turn this in, uh, Egan, and we're going to do it again. Not like literally the same stuff, but we're going, well, not literally the same problems, but we are going to do a uh, procedure. I have four of them. We're going to pick two of them to do. And then we're going to uh, get on with our homework so that I can help people during class that are having challenges getting this done. Where'd my cursor go? Somewhere here's a cursor. No, I know it's on freeze. All right, my cursor disappeared. And I just marked you absent. Lunch or no lunch? No lunch. All right, uh, we're going to finish up. Now, listen carefully. We're going to finish up the section today. That's it for the chapter. This is a huge, huge chapter. The one nice thing is that you're using everything in this one assignment that we've learned. Uh, add, subtract, multiply, and divide integers, right, when we do the table. Uh, graphing points. And then lastly, obviously, the, the, the section itself, which is graph lines. Uh, for seventh graders, this is the culmination of everything there is dealing with integers. Uh, say again. Uh, he gets coming around. So this is the culmination of everything we've learned dealing with integers. Josh and Noah, please stop, both of you. Okay. Just stop and, uh, no, both of you, put your mask on. All right. Uh, unfortunately for us, we have a, well, a many day break between the end of the chapter and the chapter test, which is after that three day weekend. So we will absolutely positively, when we come back from CMAS uh, uh, testing on Thursday, we will do two chapter reviews. Now, do we really need to do two chapter two days? For some of you, no, but for others of you, yes. Uh, and then we're going to go on a three-day weekend, come back and take the test. So I don't really like to do a uh, test after a three-day weekend, but I don't have much choice here. Uh, ben, close the door for me. Um, I have a question, Mr. Chartier. Go ahead. So, I'm good. so how would CMS work for me? Because I'm, I think I'm still in it, but I'm at home. And I'm probably going to be home during CMAS. So would I have to like make it up uh, another when week? Back, when you come back, you will take the CMAS test. Okay. All right. I have no idea what her situation is. All right. Um, here we go. Uh, cut down your homework. It is not a worksheet. It is from the book, 4 through 20 evens. Obviously, you're not going to do that many graphing lines. It's a little combination of lots of things. Yes. Push-ups. You came in my class, disturbed it. So you did do good push ups, though. I was impressed. Why don't you just bring pencils? It's not It's not like you can always count on me giving you pencils. Yeah, people, no, Mr. Sardier. You, if they don't need your hand, why would you? People go into my backpack and steal my stuff. Why do you let people go in your backpack? Because I'll even go to the bathroom during like lunch or something. I'll just go in there. Because they're all idiots. Uh, the problems of seventh graders. OK, so how many questions? Mr. Sardier. Kevin. All right, here we go. We are going to let uh, Malachi. Well, let me just do a quick introduction here. All right, so the class is the same as yesterday. We're graphing linear equations. Um, uh, we've done two things this year with equations. You've both solved and now you have graphed linear equations. So this year, you've solved this equation, two-step equation. 
Uh, and the new thing is that you take an equation like this one and you graph it. Uh, the process involves making a table uh, forthwith called the uh, table of pain. Go ahead. Uh, once you have a table of values, uh, when you complete it, it makes, the last column, it makes ordered pairs. You take those ordered pairs and you graph those ordered pairs. If you do it correctly, you get a nice little line of dots that you play connect the dots on, and you're done. Uh, well, sometimes it doesn't work out. Maybe you found that out last night with homework, uh, that when you actually made the dots, you didn't get a line. Well, at least it points you in the right direction of where your mistake lies. Your mistake can comes in, well, many different ways, but two general ways. One, you've done poor math. Uh, we, yesterday, I don't know how many times I said, if you are still weak with add, subtract, multiply, and divide integers at the top of your paper, you need to have the rules, both on your homework, on a worksheet like this. Put it on the top. The rules for adding, same signs. You add, different signs you subtract. Those aren't all the parts of the rules, but those are the main ones right there. Uh, they're still, you know, if you're adding, you know, are you adding positive or negatives? If you're subtracting, big minus small, more positives, more negatives. The other side should be for multiplication. We're not going to be doing any division today, but multiplication. Uh, when you multiply, same signs means the answer is positive, different signs means the answer is negative. We're going to be doing all of that stuff today, and you did it yesterday as well, too. Um, I have a question. Go ahead. Sorry to interrupt. Um, do, do we have to take notes for this? Always. Okay. All Thank right. You. Um, once you have those rules written at the top of your paper, for those of you that need them, look at them. The same verbal script that I do with you when you, hey, I, I got this wrong. What did I do wrong? And I simply point with my two fingers and say, same or different signs, right? You need to be the ones that are doing that to yourselves. Whenever I do that with you, you always get it right. So if you do it for yourself, uh, my belief is that you will get it right more often than not. All right, I said Malachi gets picked first. You have four of them. Pick of the four, pick one. Box number. Box number three. Everybody go to box number three. What? All right, box number five. <laughs> well, Malachi is a good student. He picked the one that will help him the most. So he picked. Box number five. So let's do box number. We don't have a number. <laughs> oh my word, he got me. All right. Uh, not box two, three. Okay. So let's do box number three. All right. Box number three. Now, box number three is a good one because it is what's well, got negatives involved. And as many of you saw, you know, it was the negatives that gave you the most problems. Now, Vey, you're not going to be able to see this because I don't have everything, so you're going to have to listen to the words as we talk our way through. Uh, you can see the problem. However, you're not going to see what I write on the board. All right, for everybody else, here we go. Step number one is you make this table. Now, I was nice to you. It's already sitting there. But remember, for homework, you're going to have to make these tables. Uh, have you guys figured out that uh, the lazy, I mean, the efficient people out there, that all you really need is two vertical lines and one horizontal line, and there's your table. Okay, and if you're neat, then you simply write the numbers. You don't have to, if you want to make a perfect table, you can. Some kids like that. Uh, it gives them pleasure, comfort, whatever, and that's fine. Other kids are, well, that's going to take too much time. Well, that's all you need to make, like football goal posts, right? Back in my day, all we did was the tea table. All right. Uh, here we go. Malachi, pick some numbers. You don't have to pick those numbers if you don't want. Okay, those are good. We pick these numbers because these are the easiest numbers to do math with. I mean, I could pick 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, but then my graph would have to be able to allow for those large X values. All right, so we're gonna go from left to right. The number one problem for seventh graders is this first minus sign right here. So they write Y equals, everybody gets that. But then they don't wanna put that first minus sign for some reason. They're like, well, the number's already negative. So I don't need to put that, you know, you need to put everything that's there. The first thing you see is a minus sign. So I put a minus sign. Then it says X, so then I put in my number, so I put in minus 2. That's negative 2. And then there's, I keep writing, well, there's another minus 2. For those of you that came to me yesterday and asked, well, what do I do here? You all figured out that when two minus signs are next to each other, that turns into one positive. So I erase the two minus signs, change that to one positive. 
now we can do the math. I don't know what's going on here, you four, but it needs to stop. Put all the food away. If you have food in your desk, put it in your bag right now. All right. This literally says two minus two. Two minus two is zero. So that's my y value. So my y value is zero. My x value is minus two. There's your first point, negative two, zero. If you guys like to graph immediately or do you want to wait to the end? Graph immediately like or to wait, wait to the end? All right, we'll wait to the end. We do it for the next number. Y equals, it's the not a minus sign, so we put a minus sign, and the value is minus one, minus two. Two negatives make a sorry, positive. Plus, with a plus, so that's one minus two. Uh, one minus two is same or different signs? Same or different signs? Different, different, different. signs need to subtract. <clears throat> Big minus small. Two minus one is? One. one. More negatives, more positives. Negative. So the y value is negative one, and so is the x value. Look at that. Should be a common number. We like zero, zero makes our life easy. Doesn't make sense to write minus zero, but that's what it tells us to do. I don't care if you subtract zero or add zero. Zero doesn't change anything unless you multiply or divide. Zero minus two is minus two. So I get zero negative two. That's my third point. Next one down is a positive one. So I write right, y equals minus one. Right, why is it minus one? Because the negative is in the initial equation. The x now is positive, so you get one minus and a one. Minus two. Felicity, same or different signs? Same sign means? Add. If you did not have that at the tip of your tongue, it needs to be written at the top of your page. You don't immediately, all oh, same signs, add. Different signs subtract. One plus two is three. We're adding negative, so negative three, and we used a one to get there. All right, what's the Caden method? Um, two, negative four. You just figure out the pattern. What is the pattern for this one? Um, the left side is going up by one, and then the right side is going down by one. So the left side, well, the, the right side, or the left side is just a repeat of the X values. But the right side is doing what? The right side is going down by one. Hmm, suspiciously, there's a minus one right there. <laughs> hmm, suspicious. All right, so even without doing the math, I already know the answer should be two comma negative four. Let's confirm. Y equals negative two minus two. Same signs Felicity said, she said to add two plus two is four, right? Negative, so in fact, we do get negative four. For all the e-learners, here it is nice and pretty now. Wow. Yeah, well, there's a mistake. Jaden gets a point. How did this turn into? Did I just copy the numbers from the previous one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. these are all right. Wow. Are any of wow. them right? No. Oh, that's I don't wrong. Think... Uh, let's all, let's fix this it's on the video. The zero is right. The zero is the only one that's right. And Jaden caught it all. I'm sure what I did was simply copied it over. All right, so the first one should be zero. Uh, this one should be uh, negative one. Uh, this one should be negative two. This should be negative three. And this one should be negative four. Okay. And I'm not sure why that one is uh, messed up, but... Um, no oh, idea why that's like that. Makes me wonder if yesterday I messed up and I just didn't notice it. All right, back up here, please. Wait, if that was messed up, does it mean that it was messed up too? No, because when I go to the slide where I actually graph the points, I end up being correct. So the first one's negative two, zero, then negative one, one, then zero, negative two, one, negative three, and one, negative four. Oh, that was easy. <coughs> yeah, they're not perfect. There's a Malachi, choose number two. All right. Malachi already made his choice. Oh, can I choose? No. Can I choose? 
What? All right, questions. You feeling confident? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, I'm going to pick number uh, two. We're going to do number four. Can we do number four? All right, this one, we got to do one that involves, uh, this is called a uh, uh, scalar multiplication here, something that involves some multiplication. All right. So we're doing box number four, box number four. We're going to stick to the same points. Yes. Uh, let's get this done. And then we're on homework literally right after this. Okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, y equals, the first thing it says is negative two. So I write a negative two. Then it says x and it's being multiplied. So we need to put another negative two. Why negative two? Because that's the point I'm throwing in. We're letting the x go in for that x right there. Finally, if you do make a mistake because you're not paying attention, it's because you like do all this work and like, wow, I just wrote everything down. But you forget there's a minus one right here. Negative two times negative two. Uh, four. Positive. So positive four. You need scratch work and do this part of the scratch work. Four minus one is three. three. So we get a three and we started with a negative two. Second one, negative one. Am I going too quick? Are we okay? Okay, negative two, and we're multiplying it by negative one this time, minus one. Negative two times negative one. 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 Negative two times negative one is one. No, three. Two. Positive Who's two. saying three? It's positive. Negative two times negative one. It's two. Oh. I said, it's I said positive one. two. It's I positive two. two. I'm not asking for the final answer. I was just asking what's negative two times negative one, which is positive two, and two minus one is in fact one. So when I throw it at negative one, I get a one. <coughs> so we zero is our friend because zero times anything is zero. So I don't care what I'm multiplying. If there's a zero involved, I get zero. Minus one would give you negative one. Negative one. When I throw in a zero, I get a negative one. Positive ones, let's see. I still have a negative two though. What's a negative times a positive? Uh, negative. So negative two minus one. Oh, maybe we need scratch work. Negative two minus one, same or different signs? Different. Negative. Oh, it was. So to me, how easy that is to make a mistake? Same signs. Negative two minus one, same signs. Felicity said same signs. Add, add those two numbers. Mm -hmm. Add. Negative three. So we get negative three when we throw in a one. Caden? Yeah. Take over. So that's going. He's that's looking going at the y columns, and it looks like what's happening is. It's going in intervals of two. Are we getting bigger or smaller by two? We're getting smaller by two. So mm, no suspiciously, gonna... this says minus two. Oh, suspiciously. That suspiciously. answer to the why that is suspicious will be answered in eighth grade. Okay. Suspiciously, you said this yesterday. Hmm. Suspiciously, I also said the same thing yesterday. I do want you to be careful, though, in case, well, you do have CMAS coming up. Uh, in case that you ever encounter this uh, on, on a test, the reason why that pattern appears is because these numbers go down or go up by one, right? If those numbers are not going up or down by one, then that pattern will not be like that, okay? Be careful. But when the pattern does, when your x values increase or decrease by one, absolutely positively, there is a pattern on the other side that emerges that you can follow. And it does have something to do with this number right here. Eighth grade, they'll explain why. Seventh grade, we just do the table of pain and we graph the points. Hey, look, I didn't make any mistakes this time. What do you know? So let's see, the first one is negative two, positive three. Now remember, two types of mistakes. We could have messed up the math right here got bad points, or we could have done the math correctly, good points, and then graph the points incorrectly. So when you don't get this nice pretty line that emerges, well, those are your two things to check. Now, when it goes bad, it goes bad very quickly. Instead of the point being here, maybe it's up here. I haven't clicked the button yet. Uh, so when you have a W or a U or a V or something that appears, uh, suspiciously look at the one that doesn't look like it, it, it uh, goes with the other ones. 
that's the one you need to check both whether or not you graphed it correctly. If you did graph it correctly, then check your math for that particular one. Does that make sense? Hey, did anybody get weird looking line last night when they're doing the homework? Like, oh, oh that I point did. doesn't. I did. I just guessed what it was. Right. When that when that happens, though, try to identify your mistake. Don't just assume, well, that can't go there. It must go with the other one. Sure, that's true. But I'm saying try to find your mistake. You get more uh, helpful uh, uh, or you get more help from the problem when you do make a mistake. And then you can identify your mistake without, you know, me or someone else showing you where you made the mistake. You can find your own mistake. That's a pretty good, pretty good deal. Hey, we Mr. Doing Chardier, yes. I'm looking over my homework I did last night on number eight. And I can't figure out what I did wrong. Number eight. What was your first point? Um, negative two six. That is correct. Negative Second one point. five. Correct. Zero four. Correct. One five. There's your mistake. When you throw in a one, it would say negative uh, one four. Those are different signs. When you subtract those big minus small, you get a positive three. Oh, okay. All right. Think? Anyone questions on anything we've done? Yes, Keegan. Anyone else? Yes. Number two, I had a whole bunch of people walking to my, uh, by the way, number two was one of the ones that was on the homework last night, right? Yes. What happens if it literally says Y equals X? No matter what number you put in for X, you get the same thing for Y. Like literally, you put in 10 for X, well, then it literally says Y equals 10. So all it is is an ordered pair where all both numbers are exactly the same. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, negative 5, negative 5. No matter what number you put in for X, it literally says, well, that's what Y is equal to. Turns out it's a 45 degree uh, line in relationship to the origin and the X axis. Uh, that goes from lower left to upper right. Anybody want to take a guess? Okay, this is high level stuff here. If y equals x looks like this, it goes through the origin. Guess what y equals negative x looks like? Uh, it goes the opposite way. What do you mean? Uh, it goes uh, it goes, that way. It goes, base is correct, it goes like that. Pretty crazy, right? No, I never guessed that. That's complicated. Man. And the reason why is because no matter what number you put in, it changes its sign. It doesn't change its value, it changes its sign. Or, yeah, I said that correctly. Okay, cool. Uh, you have all you need. Uh, you doing your homework right now? Easy, hard, medium, what? Not hard, according to Pierce. And then again, Pierce is like a genius mastermind who can get his homework done. Pierce literally just tripped over his feet and fell on the floor, and we all laughed at him. And I tried to capitate on his chair. I tried to <laughs> so an, an immovable object caused him failure. No, he, he, he tried jumping onto his chair. He, he, one time he I didn't jump high enough. Yeah, he got slammed right. chair and then he went down. So he might be good at math, but there's some other things that he needs up on. All right. That, okay. There's your first comment there that kind of makes sense. So most students in seventh grade get to the point where they say this is tedious, you know? Yeah, which is why in, uh, in ninth grade, you get to learn an easier way of doing this, but you have to go through the tedium. Why? Because this is the main technique we use for graphing things, for graphing uh, shapes. Uh, right now, believe it or not, you can shape anything or you can graph anything. You now know the tools, which is basically the table of values, table of pain, you could graph one of those parabolas that I showed you yesterday. You could graph a circle. All you have to do is throw in x values. You want to do a circle? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Why much. not? Let's do a circle. All right. Write this down on one of your ones that we did not do. New equation. Uh, y equals uh, plus or minus the square root of. Okay. Uh oh. Never mind. Let's say four. I'm good. Minus x squared. Uh, you, you want to make a circle? Yes. No. Never mind. Right. Yes, no. Just that would get us to a circle. By the way, it works the same way. Give me some numbers. Uh, 27. Oh, good Lord. We don't want to take the square root of 27. Negative 5. But... Nine. 
negative. Well, remember, a circle now, you're going to have some zero. x values where there's no points over here, right? Four. The circle is going to be kind of close Three. to the, right? Wait, 49. What's above the x? Well, you don't know it best, but this one only goes left and right by two and goes up and down by two. So if we were to pick uh, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, well, let's see what happens. All right, we throw in negative two. What's negative two squared? Oh, uh, negative two times negative two? Negative four. So it's a negative times a negative. It's positive four. What's four minus uh, four? Zero. What's the square root of zero? Uh, zero. Negative, negative zero. Oh, that's easy. Let's do one. Uh, what's negative one times negative one? Negative uh, one. 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 Four minus one? Negative three. No, no. Four uh -huh. minus three. Now, you guys don't know the square root of three, but it is a value. And that value is one point something, right? But it says plus or minus, so we get both a plus and a minus. Notice the reason why we get two values is because... Well, there's going to be a point here and a point right here, and there's your plus or minus. Okay. I'm sorry, it should have been the one. Sorry, plus or minus right there. Okay. You're going to get two answers for everything that you throw in. You're going to get a plus and a minus. The only time you won't was this one, and that's because at negative two, well, there it is. At positive two, there it is. But all the other times, you're going to get two values, a plus and a minus. When we throw in uh, zero, Zero will be right here. Watch what happens. What's zero squared? Zero. What's the square root of four? Uh, two. two. So we get plus or minus two when we throw in it. So we get a plus or minus two. So at zero, we're both at negative two and positive two, and that's where the circle starts to emerge. Okay. Uh, so cool. It is cool. I didn't get far. By the way, when you get to high school and you have the hundred dollar calculator, the hundred dollar calculator does this all for you. Oh, I like yeah, going to the hundred dollar calculator for like fifteen minutes, please. No. Wait, all right. In the remaining time, which is about twenty minutes, we are going to get out our books. We're going to get started on the homework. Woo, woo. Yes. All right. Anybody lost on what we're going to do? All right. We are not going to sit here and do nothing, talk, chat, mess around. We are going to be doing our homework. Josh, do you need explanation on what that means? Okay. Uh, you're not going to mess with Noah. In fact, Noah, I want you to move between the two girls. Um, yes. Mr. Carter, I didn't hear you for the last couple of seconds. My internet went out. I want you to sit right there so that Josh is not messed up. Ace, do not go and open that up. Ace. What? Would you like to buy some snacks? No. Mr. Shredder. Let's not have those conversations. You want to know why? Let's not have those conversations. Because then we can report it. And then you want to know something? All right. Vaya, hey, what's your question? Um, so like a couple of seconds ago, I couldn't hear what you were saying because my internet went out. So can you repeat that? We were not saying, we were just exploring how to graph a circle, but it's not important for seventh grade. Yes. Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, Malachi, book out homework. Book out homework. Book out and share. You do. No, you guys are not going to. Just like airplane. 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 Just Make them more bigger. What? Yeah, Put your shoes back on. Put your shoes on. They're this bad. They're this bad. Put your shoes on. Please. All right, you may need help get started here. What? What do you think the definition is? I don't have any money. How do you show your work? Uh, yeah. 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 Y
By the way, were you paying attention when Ace answered the question? Answered what question? That was that was the answer to number. What is that? Up? What number is that? That's the answer to number four. What's the answer to number four? Uh, do the work. That's when my internet cut off, dude. Let's why are you using the internet to search up the answers, huh? No, my internet went cut off because my internet cuts off when he's talking, when like I'm in a meeting sometimes, so I can't hear what you guys are saying. It takes up too much. Can I have a graphic? Yeah, really does. I could fall asleep on the floor. Please don't. So. Okay, all we're doing now is our homework. So if you want to hang out, you can. If not, you can disconnect if you'd like. I'm going to hang out just in case if I have any questions. Hey, save that for when you're a hairstylist when you're busy. Mr. Shardier. Yes. You know that time where you said that half the times our, our class is like so bad at talking that like the people at like e-learning can't understand it? Yeah, I'm feeling that right now. Yeah, they're actually pretty well behaved today. Right. Yeah. My voice always cracks. My voice always cracks. Yeah, it's all it always has. Josh, true? get to work. Let's go. What? No, I didn't. didn't get out I don't know what it means. I don't know. Sure you you didn't get out of I know. I always have my entire life. So, well, I guess it never cracked before when I was very small, but my voice is always cracked. Everybody's voice cracks in the baby. <laughs> No, when I was a child, no, I was at the end of the year, yes. Say again? Yeah, it's dangerous. Can I do something happens to my book? All right, don't mess, don't break it any worse than what it already is. Mr. Shardier, do you have a book? My book, it isn't broken, it just cuts. I know, but don't ruin it any worse than it already is. Can I play? Hey, look, it's the bad case. Cyber Geek 2000. Cyber Geek 2000. Ace, what number are you on? Come on, let's go. Uh, number... uh, Elijah, you're having begun work. Come on, let's go. Get paper out. Let's get going. Really, just two problems. Uh, no, there's more than two problems. Wait, can I use this? Yes. Yes. Uh, notice the book actually suggests that you use how many numbers? Look on the previous page. Six. Six numbers. Seven. Seven. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers is what they suggest. Well, for your table, they're they're suggesting you put in seven numbers to the table. Yeah. Do we have to? I can't hear you. What? Do we have to put seven well, numbers? Yeah, they give you numbers, and how many numbers are they giving you? Four, four, five, five. All right. Which two? No, no, no. I was just saying they were recommending there that they. Josh, you're doing a whole lot of nothing. No. Did you know that I so very recently priced Say again? I so very recently priced No, he doesn't. It's $15 for a while. It's $15 for a It's for a Huh? Bro, so I could go back a, a I could and buy a whole bag of them for two dollars. And the dollar and the dollar can charge that. What are you gonna shoot? Twelve dollars. And the dollar for a journal. Come on. 
kids and two dollars per. You said, "What are you gonna shoot?" Yeah, we won't be doing that. Here's how you die. Yeah, but my dad. Well, 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 my I left. I left. I retired in 2005, and we had not yet gotten this far yet. So I never, I've never shot it. Hey, what's up? Um, when does this class end again? Uh, we got about uh, 15 minutes. They all sound like chick monks on my end. Like high pitch. Right. Annoying ones, but. You're not working except you're working your No, I only take half the day. It's not going to take forever. You have 15 minutes in my class. You still have essay. You're going to get this done. And the more you talk, the longer it will take. It's not even taking that long. Are you assuming our gender? I literally put everyone in my dude, no matter the shot. What the Ace, it was funny, but now get back to work. Am I hearing Elizabeth's voice or am I very crazy? Yes. What? Does anyone need help? I need help with this. Like yes. Airport food. Yes. It says use those numbers instead of the ones that we've been picking. Just five. Negative three, negative one, zero, one, three. That's five numbers. Uh, you think you need to count again? Oh, for those, I was looking at 18. You'll be fine. Yes. What kind of does it? It comes from different places. They make a 357. Mr. Shardia. Yeah, I don't is one minus one zero? Or is it one? Four minus one? No, one minus one. That is zero. Okay, cool. thank you. So no. then my dad's friend, he was shooting it. Yeah. And then he shot it. And then the ejected, uh, the ejected shot like shot out and then hit him in the nose. Happens all the time. That's why you need iPro all the time. And definitely. And then I'm just looking at stuff on my, I'm like, bro, my mom's like, you should get something special for your dad's birthday. And I was looking, I'm like, ooh, a Garrett Pickett belt. We could get a rat. And, and my mom's like, how expensive is it? And I'm like, $8,500. Mm. Is there expensive? No. Her, I wouldn't even consider on I, I know, but parents get their kids cars. They do, right? So it's the same thing. Both of my girls' cars. You need your dad a gun. The difference is that the car is, by the time of both of my girls were juniors in high school, we got them a cheap car, but we got them cars, and that way we didn't have to drive them to school. I'm or drive them to softball practice or drive them to wherever. I know, but if you got a rare empty cab, you would have been happy. Would I, would, I, would, I wouldn't have used it as, as much, though. If you got him a bear at 50 cal, you wouldn't have to drive. I just tested it out. Shoot at the tire. No, I shoot the same. That wouldn't happen. I'd have fun by trying to shoot All right. Let's change topics. Let's get back to work. Get back to work. Hey, uh, Pierce, stop messing with people who still need to get the work done. I'm almost done. I'm on number eight. Okay. Whoa. Out of time. Yeah. Oh, right here. No, sit at the work.
Kaden, you need to stop right now. You need to get to work. Hey, we're about this close to doing this in silence because too many of you are getting distracted. Do I like I not just plain oatmeal? Mine has to be like cinnamon, apple, cinnamon, something like that. But is it would I pick it as the number like if I had a choice of breakfast, would it be my number one choice? No. No. Nobody what? No. I actually had to put sugar and cream of wheat for me to want to eat it. I do You're completely correct. You are completely correct. Almost good. I love cream. I mean, only some. I guess you should make it. Yeah, my dad has a special batter for waffles. My dad will make waffles. I have it. Yeah, I have it. Can I have it? Put your name on the piece of paper. I will. Please, 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 so he'll make the outside like super like, kind of like Frenchy. Uh, They'll do the best. Like the, the like by themselves? No. Yeah. Not by themselves. <laughs> you mean like with a salsa or something like that? Yeah, well, absolutely. Like I can't imagine eating. But same or so talk, keep talking. You are. Oh, yeah. You just take the two numbers you subtract. What do you get? Now, more negatives, more positives. Look at the numbers. There you go. All right, jalapeno boy, stop talking about jalapenos. Get back to work. Here, I I probably at your age, there's no way that I would ever eat, try to help you. No way. Spicy things when I was your age was mean. I didn't even like pepper. No, I'm just saying I when I was your age, I wouldn't even put pepper on my food because I thought it was too spicy. Oh, yeah, man, I'm pepper. You were a cute. I'm going to leave it. I'm talking about the pepper. Yeah, Green peppers are menu. Ben, we already done? We're making a shape or a lot. Oh, mustard is flour. Wait, All right, a bit more work, a bit less talk, please. A bit more work, a bit less talk. Relish is pickle that's diced up and must have something else in it too, but it's basically diced up pickles. It's pickled cucumbers. 
Work, please. Work. Work. I'm working really hard. This recipe calls for two chopped cucumbers that have been pickled, uh, one chopped onion, some vinegar, some sugar, and that's how relish is made. I did say I was going to buy one of those, didn't I? Yes. Buy uh, what? We're going to get one of those weird flavors of Pringles. I, I'm going to buy one. I, you don't need to pay me. I'll buy one. I know, but I want, I want to keep the pickle rick. I'm going to buy the most weird, disgusting one, and we'll see. No, you should see the Pop-Tarts flavor. Pop -Tart flavor. I would eat Pop-Tart flavor as Pringles. Yeah, there, there's like toilet paper. There's one literally called the Borscht Papers. You should eat that ever. The Borscht Papers is a flavor. All right. Let's turn to the last five minutes. Let's turn to silence and let's get as much as we've done as possible. So no more talking for the last five minutes of class. Just work. Kira. All right. We're going to go to zero talk. Zero talk for the last five minutes. No more talking. All right. Get as much as you can get done. We got a bunch of people that already finished this because they didn't talk and they did their work. I mean, I'm doing my work. All right. No more talking. No more talking. Ain't nothing. They, I'm going to end this right now. We'll see you tomorrow. No, I'm going to probably going to stay online still, but I'll. No, see uh, you. I'm. I am literally ending it right now. Oh, bye. I kind of miss you guys. See you tomorrow. See ya. See. You.